Okay, this is a question we always get and a complaint we get from customers who come in. Bakit may delay yung kotse ko? Or actually, may delay yung kotse ko. Napakatagal pag tinapakan, hindi umaandar. Bakit ganun at may solution ba o wala? It's because of the electronic throttle that's in all cars right now. Anything from, say, what do you say, from that 03 and up? Japanese. All have this one. Once upon a time, for those of you who are old enough to remember or are just old in general, this is your car pedal. May kable nakadikit sa carburador. You step on the pedal. Tapak, bumubukas. Same thing with, say, an old 96 Civic. So, ito, pag tumapak ka, hinahatak to, bumubukas yan. Ito yung throttle cable. So, if you step on this one 20%, this thing opens also 20%. One is to one, basically. Simple enough. But nowadays, wala na to. No cable anymore. Instead, what we get, there's a pedal here, there's a rotation sensor here, this is your throttle, throttle plate, there is a motor here. Now, this sensor moves that way, para siyang volume ng radio, may plus, may minus. This is a motor, it also rotates this way. What happens now is, if you step on this one 20%, this one, ang bukas niya, not necessarily 20%. It might be 15, might be 12, might be 18, might be 10. Depending on the condition and what the actual program is inside the car's ECU. Let's take uh, your typical Honda nowadays. Honda Civic FD or a Honda CT. If you can open up actual throttle map inside the ECU, this is percentage tapak. This one is percent open. So at 0% tapak, at 0 RPM, obviously it's 0. At 10%, it actually opens only about 5%. At 20%, it only opens about 15. At 30, it also opens about 26. At 40, then when it starts to get pantay pantay na. This is this is probably 16. This is something like 27. This is 40. So as you can see, at 10% tapak, it only opens 5% or 7%. At 20%, it's 15 and 16%. It only starts to equalize right after around. 3, only here at around 3-5 RPM, where medyo pantay na siya. So, your 30% on also about 30%, and your 20% is almost 20% you know, also. So, for the first one-third ng tapak mo, there's always a delay. Because hindi pantay yung galaw ng paa mo dun sa bukas. Now, why is it like that? Uh, I said that, nakakable. So why go to an electronic throttle? The biggest reason has to do with emissions. Yes, save the environment and all of that nonsense. And regulations. Most of this stems from the U.S. government. <laughs> So what does throttle have to do with emissions?
let's say you're just showing off to your friends or just driving in general. At cruising, you're only about 10% throttle. Tapos biglang mo inapakan. Naging 70%. Once upon a time, pag nakakabit yan with a cable, this will open from 10 to 70% in the same amount of time. And during that time, you have to inject a lot more fuel into the engine para hindi lang mamatay yung makina. Kasi biglang dumami yung hangin eh. There's a lot more air going in. Without the corresponding amount of fuel, engine shuts down. A lot of that fuel in that particular short amount of time dumalabas ng tambucho as emissions. Hindi nasusunog. And America says that is bad because it's pollution. <laughs> so by slowing the, by slowing the amount of throttle opening, mas mabagal, you increase the amount of time. And in that amount of time, it's easier na to meter the fuel more precisely. So instead of biglang madami kagad na fuel, you can add some fuel here and a little bit more and a little bit more. Which is results in less emissions. That is the primary reason why there's a throttle delay in every car right now. Because if you want to sell your car in America, you have to pass this kind of regulation. Now, do we have solution or not? Yes, there is solution. The most common solution is this one. Your electronic throttle controller. anywhere from 65 to about 15,000 and by the way don't buy the 15,000 because that's really dumb and stupid it's overly expensive ang ginagawa ng trabaho niyan is binabalik yung dati 100% tapak results in 100% bukas or 20% tapak results in 20% opening of the throttle that's all they do does it work? yes it will work but there is actually no power gain whatsoever. You're just increasing the response time, but the amount of power remains the same. And another bad part about this one, lalakas sa konsumo pag ito lang nilagay mo. Why? Because this one connects directly here to the pedal. What it does is it tells the throttle directly what to do. So say, say from 20%, you suddenly upang it 100%. The ECU will see the exact same thing 20% to 100% in a split second then it will add more fuel because if it doesn't mamamatay yung makina and all of that once again goes out na hindi na susunog and lumalakas gas kasi you're adding fuel so it works but it's not the most ideal solution there Another thing that you may notice when you buy throttle control, it's usually a little box like that with maybe like that and then may read out na may mode pa yan eh, mode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and all of that. Sometimes it comes with three buttons that says eco, normal, and power. This is absurdly stupid. <laughs> If you put it in eco mode, it's actually even slower response than stock. Eh, kaya nga bumili niyan para tumulin eh. Normal mode is obviously just as normal, which is, kaya nga bumili niyan para tumulin because you don't want normal mode and you don't want eco mode. So you keep it in power mode all the time. Which once again, lalakas yung response, but fuel consumption will also go up. And the ones with the numbers here, let's say from, it's normally from 0 to 9. Uh, this corresponds also to this on the scale, this is eco, this is power. This one pretty much allows you to dial in how much response you want because there are still certain very small group of people na, Uy, masyadong maliksi, ayoko to. Gusto ko yung medyo mabagal lang. So this is actually a better buy than the one with the three buttons. But still, same thing. Normal is somewhere around here in the middle, five. So you can probably do six or maybe seven. So at least this has some adjustability case ito. But at the end of the day, both of these things are a waste of money. <laughs> because after that, you will move after wanting 
more after getting more response and you'll want more power, you will end up invariably with either remap or Unichip. And these two things can do throttle control without any other device. So once again, yeah, sign ng pera lang pag bumili ka niyan. The more correct one is actually either using Unichip or Remap. Because with this one, you are letting the ECU do the work. Hindi mo binabypass yung throttle para mag-uusap yung pedal at saka yung throttle mo. Kailangan duman sa ECU. And pag duman sa ECU yan, what happens is, so let's say from 20% to 100%. With throttle controllers, it automatically jumps here. With Unichip or Remap, it will actually go through the whole motion. 20%, 25, 30, 40, 50, so on and so forth. And every one of this pedal application may corresponding fuel yan. And timing. For every percentage. So it's still the ECU that de determine that one. Kaya if you use Unichip or Remap to enhance the throttle, not only do you get better response and more power, hindi lalakasagas yan. Because you're still letting the ECU do all the work with the proper computation kung ano mga ibang kailangan. Kasi hindi lang naman throttle para gumana yung makina eh. This is important. And on turbo cars, there's also boost. <laughs> so if you guys have throttle control already and then you want more power, you can get either Unichip or Remap. You can sell your throttle control to somebody else. And if you still don't have throttle control to begin with and you won't want better response, Wag mo na bilhin yun. Dumaretso ka na dito. Kasi sayang lang na pera pag bumili ka ng throttle control. Bebenta mo rin yun or tatapon mo lang yun. So that's the reason why the throttle delay exists and this is the solution on how to fix it.